Hey everybody, this is FireDrive 522 with my 11th tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a hover drive to teleport from one point to another with a simple button press. And so it's not going to be like, I'm going to jump between right here to right over there. I'm going to make it to where you can jump from right here to over there or back to here or in just any random one of the locations that I have set up for the coordinates. Uh, so I'm basically just making my own little uh, value changer here. Uh, I figured out in expression 2 how to make a counter. And so basically I can make it to where I can go up and down just by push up a button. Okay. So basically I push one button, the counter goes up a value. If I push one button, the counter will go down a value. I have it to where if... Uh, If the um, counter is 5, then if it goes to 6, it will immediately go down to 0. And if it's at negative 6, it will immediately go back to 0. So it automatically resets. Alright. Let's go ahead and set this up. Let's get a plate. I'm just going to put that in the end here. And it's a little sideways for some reason. Whatever. Okay. Let's go ahead and choose new expression. And this uh, this tutorial might be two parts because it's kind of long to explain, but it might be one part if I try to rush through things a little bit. Name, teleport, inputs, counter, outputs, x, y, z. Alright, our first line, then I like to have things a little neat. If counter equal to zero, then x equals x, y equals y, and z equals z. Now, I don't want to do anything for else, because if if it's going to be 0, then it's automatically going to be at that anyways. Uh, so if it's constantly... So if I have like an else thing, that'd be kind of weird. So basically, if it's at zero, then I try to teleport, it'll just go back to the position it's at right now. I don't want an else, so I don't need an else. Okay. If counter, oops, snap. If counter equal to one, then x equals, let's hold on. save that so I can kind of put it down. Okay. Now let me go ahead and get my GPS out so I can just kind of read what the values is on this thing. Okay, I kind of want it closer so I can just kind of look up at it. Okay. Two. Negative nine seven two five. X equals negative nine seven two five. Mm -hmm. Y equals nine four. Oh, what the? Kind of hate when that happens. Okay, X equals seven two five. I'm just gonna start rounding here. Y equals nine thousand. Z equals negative seventy four hundred. And then put the left, and then put the end curvy bracket. Okay. So now, if that, if this counter thing right here is at 1, and I tell it to jump, it will tell the teleporter to jump to the, to the coordinates I gave it. So, which would be around right there. Now, let's say I want it somewhere, like, way out there, so... I take those values. Let me just copy this line, paste it. Now I want if counter equals two, then eight one six six eight eight 
one four. Page eight one four, and let's see, it's about seven thousand or so. Okay, now if the counter is equal to two, then it will jump to that. Pretty simple, isn't it? Okay, so I'm just going to do two. If you did it, you could probably set up with, actually, I guess that's three if you count the x equals x, y equals y, z equals z, whatever. Okay, but you can do whatever you want for this. You can have as many as you want, and so you can just keep on changing the value, and it'll jump whenever you want. So it's, okay, so let's say, yeah, kind of laggy. Okay, let's get an airboat seat. welded. Okay, it's welded, and now I want a, where is it, hover drive. Oh, and that's right, fire gun has explosives too. Alright, go ahead and put that just somewhere on here, it doesn't really matter where. I'm going to put it on the bottom because I'm cool like that. And now I want a advanced pod, uh, I'll just, yeah, an advanced pod controller. So let me just put that down on there, right click, right click, linked. Now let me get my wire tool out. Right here, X jump target, it's gonna go to the expression 2 for the teleporter. X, uh, Y goes to output Y, and Z goes to output Z. Now set jump target, I'm going to set it to like mouse one, and then jump to also mouse one because I don't want to like hit values. Alright. Okay, so now whenever this is at something, or this is at zero right now, so it will just teleport to itself. So if I go in here, click, oh, it goes up to zero. I did not know that. Okay. Uh, oh no, actually, yeah, that makes sense because... That should be at zero because it hasn't received any different values. Okay, counter goes to the counter. Sorry. Up goes to whatever you want. I'm going to wire it to W. Down goes to S. Okay, so let me hit W and click. Let me hit W again. Click. S. Click. W. Now let me turn it. Eh, it's hard to tell. Let me go ahead and get debug of this thing so I know what I'm going to. Okay, the counter's at zero, so if I click, 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 click. Now it's at one. And so it should teleport me to right here because that's where I had to set it. Now you notice when I change it from one to two, it changes the coordinates. So let me go to two. Let me go to one. Pretty, pretty cool, huh? Now, I'm going to go ahead and just do this little thing real quick. It's not going to take long. It's just to show you, okay? Nope. Um, whatever. Nowhere. Left. Right. That should work. Wire. Okay, that's a lot. Text goes to counter. Clock goes to Just the counter. Okay, yeah, I don't want it to go like that. But yeah, I just, you don't need to do the screen thing. I was just kind of showing you an example. I don't need the first one. Okay. Well, this has been FireGrab 522 teaching you guys how to make a hollow, crap, a hover drive teleport from one point to another using coordinates with an expression to, to change values. Have fun. Don't break yourself. And sorry about the mess up outro. I don't worry.